We are coming towards the end of Outlaw Pass 4. It is scheduled to end on the 15th of March. So at the time of recording this video, we have less than a month, unless Rockstar adds an extension. But when this pass does finally end, we know Rockstar has the next Outlaw Pass already lined up because Outlaw Pass 5 is already within the game. So in this video, I'm giving you the last final reminder before we go into the next Outlaw Pass, telling you what you should be doing and answering the age old question of whether or not you should prepare. Before I do get into the video though, if you do want to see any more content from me, I have created a completely new YouTube channel. This second channel is all about entertainment, so if you do want to see that, there is a link in the description down below. Getting back into the video, Outlaw Pass 5 is already within the game, and we have already done a video here on the channel going through absolutely everything. We even touched on how you should be preparing at that current stage. Now we're coming into the final stages of Outlaw Pass 4, so this is where we really need to double down. The current Outlaw Pass that we have being Outlaw Pass 4 ends on the 15th of March 2021, and it is likely that we'll get Outlaw Pass 5 a couple weeks after this, maybe even going into Easter which will be in April. If you haven't already, make sure you complete Outlaw Pass 4. Despite there being loads of players that tell you not to buy the Outlaw Pass, it is actually worth it. There's some skills in here that you'll never be able to get again, and even if they are added again, because we managed to complete this Outlaw Pass, it means we're always going to be a step ahead of you. The things that I'm talking about here is the ammo pouches that you're able to get, as well as the wilderness fast travel. I can tell you with confidence because we have already seen Outlaw Pass 5 and the rank unlocks, you're not going to be able to get any of the these skills or any of these unlocks within the next Outlaw Pass. There is ammo pouches, but it's not full of weapons that are available in Outlaw Pass 4. So if you haven't completed the current Outlaw Pass, make sure you go through it. As we are coming towards the end of Outlaw Pass 4, what Rockstar normally does with the previous Outlaw Passes that we've had is they give a discount within the final couple weeks. What I highly recommend doing if you haven't done and get to that max rank, just sit on it for a while, wait for the last couple of weeks of the Outlaw Pass, and then if Rockstar does do a discount, you could buy into it then, saving you a bit of gold, and that gold can then be used for Outlaw Pass 5. Now whilst we're on the subject of gold, you will need to be getting 35 gold bars to buy into Outlaw Pass 5. This is now a lot harder to gather gold compared to what we were able to do before the Bounty Hunter update. What I highly recommend is just taking the time to do some stranger missions, daily challenges, awards, bounties, legendary bounties, as all of these give you gold as a reward. It is so much more of a grind now to get this gold, but do remember that you don't need to have this 35 gold within the first week of the Outlaw Pass. This next Outlaw Pass will last a couple months and you can buy into it at any point. You will be automatically enrolled within the free Wheeler Rawson & Co Club. This doesn't give you many rewards and the rewards that they do give you aren't particularly good. But one good thing is that the XP can be transferred over. So if you manage to get to max rank within the Wheeler Rawson & Co Club, you can buy into an Outlaw Pass at a later date and it would automatically transfer over so that you can unlock everything within the Outlaw Pass. But anyway, those were just a few quick things that I thought was worth mentioning in the video for those that haven't already completed what's already within the game. Now it's time to talk about Outlaw Pass 5. For a lot of you guys that are watching, especially if you've been here for quite some time, you will know that I love preparing in this game. I love preparing for future content to come out. And the reason for it is because as soon as that content does come out, I can get straight into it and deliver content to you guys. This is why I've told many of you guys to prepare for Outlaw Passes. And there are two different ways that you can do this now. The first way is by getting collector sets. Collector sets will give you 1500 XP every time you sell one. And even though we don't know how much XP is required for each rank within the next Outlaw Pass, what we do know is that there is 80 ranks. So even if the next Outlaw Pass requires 1400 XP, which is the highest amount of XP required to rank up in an Outlaw Pass before, it would mean that you would need 115,200 XP. From here, all we need to do is divide 115,000 XP by 1,500, and this is how many collector sets you would need. And this equals 76.8 sets. We're just going to say 77. Now, this sounds like a lot of collecting, but it's actually not too much. The best thing to do here is look at the Jean Robe collector map and focus on the guaranteed sets, being wildflowers, bird eggs, antique alcohol bottles, family heirlooms, tarot cards, cups, wands, pentacles, and swords. And if you get 10 of each of these sets, which doesn't take too long, all you need to do is spend a couple hours a day collecting each and every set, do this 10 days in a row, and there you go. You've got yourself 80 sets and you're all prepared for the next Outlaw Pass. 
Now all you need to do is save those sets for the next Outlaw Pass to be released, sell all those sets once you do buy into that Outlaw Pass, and there you go, you are max rank. If you really want to, you can spend some time focusing on the other sets. These are the Fossils, the Lost Jewelry, the Arrowheads, and the Coins. The reason you don't want to focus on these straight at the beginning is because these are random sets. This means that the collectibles within these sets have a random chance of being pulled, and some of these collectibles have a less than 5% chance of appearing. So for a lot of cases, it will take you multiple days just to complete one of these sets. The other way that you can prepare is by gathering samples. This is a lot easier to do compared to sets, but it does take its time in the end because it takes a lot longer to sell them. Unfortunately, you can't sell one of each sample because there isn't an option to do so. You would have to go through each and every single one of them individually, sell it, carry on, move on to the next animal, sell it, move on to the next animal, sell it. And it becomes very, very irritating especially the fact that this game has a problem where if you either buy too many items or sell too many items at once, it will eventually take some time to register. So you would have to wait 20, 30 seconds in between each item to buy or each item to sell. But just like the collectors, you can use the genre collector map to find different animals on the map. There are some very, very rare animals such as the Florida panther, the moose, and also the Herodford bull. But as long as you know exactly where they spawn in, you're perfectly fine. It's just about finding the right time. And these are the two different ways in which you can prepare for the Outlaw Pass. But now that you know how to prepare, the question is, should you? And for a lot of you guys, the answer is no. There is an argument to be made that if you do prepare for future content, when that content is finally released, you're going to complete it very, very quickly and then you're going to be bored. And after two years of doing Red Dead Online content, this is somewhat true. Now the argument that I've always had is that I'm bored right now. I've got nothing to do right this second. So therefore, I can spend my time right this minute going around collecting as many different collector sets as possible to prepare for future content. And by preparing for future content, it keeps me occupied for this right second. And for me, this works. I keep myself occupied right this second and when new content is delivered, I can play through it, complete it quickly, but then I spend more of my time working on YouTube videos and pushing out Twitch streams. So for me, it works perfectly fine. But for a lot of you guys watching, you don't have this. You just want to be playing Red Dead Online. So for a lot of you, it doesn't make sense for you to prepare. And now you're probably sat there thinking, well, I just watched this whole video, got to this point, and he's now telling me that it's completely pointless. So why did I listen to this whole video? Because you can still benefit from everything that I told you. If you are one of those players that does want to prepare for future content, well, there's nothing stopping you. You can do exactly what I'm doing, which is get as many collector sets as possible, wait for the next Outlaw Pass to be released, and sell them all on the day. That way you'll get max rank. But for everyone else, you can do the other thing, which is still get every single collector set and every single animal category. Complete it by getting 10 of every single animal and save them as samples. And instead of selling with the next Outlaw Pass, what you're going to do is just save them. I guarantee you at some point in the future, Rockstar will deliver a weekly update. And that weekly update will increase the amount of money that you can make from collector sets either by increasing the payout for every single collector set within the game or by increasing the payout for specific collector sets. Either way, there'll be an increase in money. The same thing can happen for animal categories. I guarantee you at some point in the future, Rockstar will also increase the payout for animal categories. It could be all animal categories or it could be something specific. Likewise, they could also do the exact same thing for animal samples. When Rockstar does this, this is when you can sell those sets. This is when you can sell those categories. This is when you can sell those samples. And for this type of preparation, you don't have the argument of if you prepare for future content, it's just going to go quickly. If you prepare for this future content, you'll be able to make more money. And who doesn't like making more money? That money can then be used to go and buy better stuff within the game as for future content, future DLCs, or it can help you get to a target that you're trying to reach. So for all of you watching, it is worth you trying to get as many different collector sets and trying to get as many different animal categories as possible from this point. If you are trying to rank up very quickly within the Outlaw Pass, I highly recommend that you start right this second because we haven't got too long until Outlaw Pass 4 ends. 
and after any point Outlaw Pass 4 ends, that's when Rockstar could release Outlaw Pass 5, whether it be the day after Outlaw Pass 4 expires or it could be a couple weeks going into Easter. For those of you that would like to get collector sets just to hold on so that when there is an increase in money, you can make the most amount of money as possible, I highly recommend you do a similar thing because we don't know the weekly updates. We don't know what type of bonus and benefits Rockstar is going to be delivering next week. So the quicker you stock up on collector sets, the more secure you'll be for future content with the weekly updates. But anyway guys, this is just the final reminder for Outlaw Pass 4, Outlaw Pass 5 and how you can prepare for future content whether it be Outlaw Pass 5 or whether or not it's just the weekly updates. Let me know in the comment section down below what will you be doing. Will you be looking to ranking up quickly with an Outlaw Pass 5 or are you stocking up to save for weekly updates? Leave all your thoughts in the comment section down below. Anyway guys, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. But for now, I'm going to see ya.